welcome back to an episode of We Stand right next to Park Janet. And she is a very strange character because for some reason it is really extremely dark right here. And the only thing giving us a little bit of light is the lights, uh, life stuff of course, and the little lantern. But anyway, she is one of the fishermen, so let's do her mission. Salutations. Hmm, I'm Master Fisher Park. Fishing and alchemy are my traits. Can you teach me about fishing and alchemy? Various fish, when properly salvaged, have parts that can be used in alchemy. Hmm. The whiskers of the catfish and the ink of the squid, most particularly. Could you collect some and present them to Agarwal in Weather's Fen? Okay, why does she need them? Everything hmm. on this island thrums with the power of Azor, the fish included. Making use of all parts of water creatures is both responsible and pragmatic. Why is it that there's only the first paragraph or sentence that's spoken out, but the rest of it, not so much? Like, come on! Uh, really strange. Whatever, let's accept this one. Do get a decent amount of gold, though. And, uh, yeah, only thing we need to do, uh, salvage a hooked squid for squidding. A barbed catfish for catfish whiskers, and uh, I need to, of course, catch both of those. And the question is, where on earth do I get a squid, right? Do you need a very specific location for that, or can you catch both of them right here? Because that would be nice. Okay, uh, let's stand maybe something like this right here. Uh, this is, again, fresh water, and let's get ourselves this thing. And hope that it somehow works. That's the iffy bit about all of those fishermen missions. You have absolutely no idea what you're going to get. And you're supposed to catch a very specific kind of fish. That's just really weird. Then you're supposed to know the, where those fish actually come up. Maybe you can figure this out if you look at the world map. Um, maybe it tells you what specific kind of fish are in those hotspots. So, maybe it's not that difficult. You just have to figure that out. Uh, right, there we go. And we got a Bob catfish, number one. So the chances of catching those may even increase because of the fact that we are on the mission. Maybe there's some kind of uh, adjustment that happens, because otherwise it would be just extremely strange. And the next one, hopefully, is one of those squid. But why would a squid be in... Well, yeah. In a body of water that is basically fresh water and inland, right? Aren't those creatures usually found on the open sea? At least I don't know of any uh, squid type creatures that live on land or close to it. It's usually that they are like in the deep seas or something like that. And we got ourselves. A okay. I think there is actually an adjustment here. Like the chances of this happening like that are extremely low. Okay. Let's just get one more fish just in case. Um. And also, we have to look at the... No, how, how, how would you figure out where to fish for a specific fish? It's also kind of funny that you say fish and fish, one of them being the subject and the other one being the verb. <laughs> fish, 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 fish. Then, of course, it can be an adjective. Fishy. <laughs> fish for fishy fish. <laughs> Medium perch. There we go. See that? That's the stuff that you usually get. I would say that there's actually an adjustment. So the first two uh, hooks here are once you trigger that mission. So uh, let's salvage the perch thingy and I need to get that. Oh, this is just a quest item. Salvage that for the squidding. We got that one. Ooh, ooh. Okay, derived from fair squid. And that one gives me those whiskers. Nice. Now. Uh, talk to Shito Agarwal. Question. Where is she? Also, is there some kind of um, fishing location up here? That I could figure out? I don't think so. Not really, but I can go north a little bit to explore this landmark. Let's do... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just open the... This thingy right here. Talk to Shito Agarwal. View on map. Whoa. Okay. 
That is a very, very long way this way. Um, it's east. It's one of those two. Uh, either it's completely east or a little bit south, I think. Yeah, it's either this one or the... It's not complete. Oh, this is completely east and this is a little bit south. I think this one here, uh, the turning of the missions in the settlements, is not necessarily marked on the compass. Only the stuff that's on the open. But right, so I have to go all the way over here and then over there. And while I'm at it, I can get this landmark checked out. That's neat. And yeah, I want to get on top of that mountain though. That was the main idea. Oh no, the bears. Like, see that? How much damage they do. Just... See that? One hit followed by another hit. Like, if you're extremely greedy with that damage yourself, you're absolutely screwed. See that? Ah, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. And a little bit of that healing. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. All right, let's run a little bit further. Wait a bit, wait a bit. The only thing you can do is like dash around this creature and hope for the best. And... Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh oh, I can't dash anymore. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Fighting bears is still pretty damn dangerous. The only thing that I uh, could try to do is stand next to it. An awful lot of tracking and skinny. That's strange. Why did I get so much experience just by skinning a bear? So weird. Oh, by the way. It's just... Like, there is a little bit of light from the life stuff, but it's not enough for you to actually see things. So, Grey Veil Grotto, uh, it could be that this is where all the bear. Yep, that's where all the bears are. But we're not gonna go there. Uh, we're gonna go towards that location first. So, all the way down here. Oh, and I can get another present. Perfect. Let's just go directly towards the east. That might be the best bet. And with a bit of luck, the whole fisherman mission will then be over. <laughs> Uh, it's a nice introduction to the whole fishing system. Look at that. Like, you look at the grind, it's dark. You look at the sky, it gets brighter. Really strange way of adjusting brightness. Wait a minute. Did they actually fiddle with the gamma controls in the game? It could be. Because what I'm uh, now on about is... a uh, 100. Can't do that yet. Anyway, what I'm on about is the fact that uh, once the update, like the big uh, winter update, hit the uh, clients and everything, the resolution got kind of changed and I had to re-save that one. The key bind was still the same, but the resolution was not. And I think something similar uh, also happened to the, to the gamma control. Could be, because for some reason it's extremely dark. Or it's still normal, who knows. But yeah, uh, let's open that up. And uh, visuals, I think. Uh, no, this is brightness, contrast. Uh, where do you set this up, actually? I mean, it has to be one of those two, right? Uh, contrast, field of view. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, communications, auto. Maybe it's gameplay? No. References? No. Accessibility? Maybe? No. That's weird. Like, you're given a, a, a test image to look at uh, while you change this. But if you go into visuals, for example, you don't see one of those test images. Which is a little bit weird. Alright, what do we have up here? Uh, there might be some... Yeah, a hundred. Can't mine that yet. I mean, how good is my mining skill? Mining boulders might not be it, but still. It could be somewhere around the 70s. Yeah, 72. 
So let's go on further east though. Yeah, we're gonna ooh. Yeah, let's get some special things. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So what are they looking for? Some kind of dynasty runs. I don't know any of those. And there is the live bloom thing. No, I don't want to get the bushes. <laughs> 60 DPS, what? Do they mean they do 60 damage per second? Or do they mean that they are level 60 and they are DPS? They're different things. Ooh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Gren's play. Oh, no. Bears again. Why must everything be full of bears all the time? Uh, okay, I... Ah, that is... Okay, I could go through the water. That means I have to go south, this direction. Um, or I could just try to get across here and check out this landmark there. Like this... Ooh. Rock formation looks extremely interesting. And also, if you look north, for example, right? We are in this high-end area right here. And it only goes downwards, I think. Except for, like, this huge mountain. Oh, no. This one is 34. Don't want to risk it, though. Did this bear just notice me? Let's hope not so, man. Come on. There we go. That's the perfect spot. Awesome. All right. Got that. Now, if there would just be a little bit of ore here, it would make the whole climbing and exploration thing a bit more pleasant. Uh, okay, what is this? Isn't that the... Oh, this is this structure over here. A bridge or aqueduct or something. Or maybe both. It just gets utilized in any way possible. So, Weaver's Fen. Finally, we are back here. Okay. Okay, but if I overdo it with the uh, dropping down and the fall damage, I'm definitely going to get flattened. So, let's try to get down here. Okay, that was decent. And now all the way down here. Only 16 damage, look at that. Oh, that's a bit much. 10 times as much, yeah. And we got it. Oh, wait. Hmm, Sorrow Elk. Now, how am I gonna get this one without triggering any other enemies? Oh, maybe it comes back at a certain point. Whoa, green torches. Interesting. Wait a minute. Last time I saw those bumble blossoms, there was another bear nearby. What do we have here? Another turkey? Yes. And another turkey again. So many turkeys. An awful lot of turkeys. Wait a minute. That's also some strange glowy thing down there. What is this? It's not marked yet. And there's it. Okay. It regenerated. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's a different one. Who knows? But I'm not going to run after it. Not yet. So, yeah. The idea was to get um, to this marker over there. Also, we can get over here and check that out. And there was also another marker for a life blossom thing. And that might be it. Hmm, just have to get really close in order to see that. There we go. Like, you can see this from afar, right? <laughs> the marker isn't there. You can only see it from the map. There we go. Need to get all of those modes. Like, I turned them into wisps and now I can't do anything with those. Because my crafting levels are absolutely shite. And... Oh! Okay, got it. How many more elks do I actually need in order to finish that? And is it a cull the elk? Or is it a get elk? Nah, it can't be any, any uh, leather from the elk, right? Yeah. Or maybe it's a venison gathering thing. But I still don't think that. So. Alright. Let's see. Let's make a camp. Just uh, in case. 
How much do I... Oh, I don't have any green wood yet. So let's cut down this tree here. And then I need a little bit of flint. A little bit of flint. Usually there's always a decent supply around here. Maybe it's one of those two. There seem to be some stones down there. Maybe one of them is a flint stone. There we go. Uh oh. What was that? Okay, got it. Decent, decent, decent. Let's just place that here and make the camp ready. Like, look at this, right? I was able to place the camp, but you cannot get out of this uh, specific name territory, right? The Nambaro Kitchen. You have to go further away before that actually happens. It's kind of an iffy thing, so there are no clear-cut borders. It takes a little while to get in, and then you have to go a little bit further away to get out. It's so strange. Alright, another 10 A's off for me. By the way, how much do we have? 469. That is not enough. I mean, I need to get like more than 500 at least. Actually, more than 600, 700. What kind of skill was that? Okay, let's get the hound going. Oh, come on. There we go. Wait a minute. Can I? Yes. Gather something from it. There are two more presents. Let's collect those. Also, every now and then I have to look upwards just to see the additional 20 pile. Ah, okay. Don't debate uh, backwards. Always away sideways. What the? What did he do? I was he turning around for that? That was weird. Maybe there was a strange trigger that let him think that we are actually behind him. Because of the whole evasion sideways thing. Who knows? So there's another present there. And there was also a chest. And there we go. Oh no, the spear thrower dude. Uh, now it's an axe dude. And they're still throwing it. Come on, place it. There we go. Okay, got it. One, two, three, dash, one, two, three, and another one. We're done. Perfect. So, any gear? Not here. Over there, that's where it is. Nice. There might be a mission that leads us to this location in the future, but not right now. What do we get? A decent amount of everything. Interesting. Like you get some rations and some food to make those rations. Pretty neat. Alright. Do I want to get this bumble stuff? I think so. It's just 800 meters this way. Okay. Uh, let's not waste too much time walking through the wilderness like that. Ow. Okay. Evading his attacks might be a bit iffy. Just face tank thing. Minor hat. That's not a minor hat. That's just some. Ooh, Chef Navarro. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage. Okay. Two, dash, and one, two. Oh, oh. Let's see. Oh no. Uh, is he? Yes. Finally done now. Perfect. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Away, 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 away. Let's heal with everything we have. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe get an overlap so I can heal with like... Oh, look at all of those buffs that I have. If I would be able to deal like tons of additional damage just for every buff, that would be so cool. And once, and twice. Oh no. Oh, finally, it gets a little bit brighter now. Twice. Another elk. No, wait. Let's, let's let the hound be. I mean, is it not a quest related thing? Maybe you have the trickster? Sure. Uh, oh, there are supplies. Ooh. Got it. Didn't I? No, they just regenerated like that really quickly. I have to be careful. Oh, no, wait a minute. I just took this one. There are actually two bumper blossoms. Alrighty. So, now I definitely was here for a very long time. I just charge towards the actual location we need to be. Follow the road, maybe. Hmm. Mostly follow the road. That's good. Utilize the bonus movement speed. Uh, wait a minute. Is there a crossing to the left? Yeah. Oh, so many presents, so many presents, so many presents. It's only one, right? But, yeah. Let's get the other one, too. I mean, I do want to get all of the recipes. Doesn't really matter, really. It's, it's just because I don't have any use for them, I think. Uh, it's just nice to have them. But in order to get them, uh, you need to save up some of those winter tokens first. Firstly, to buy them all. And second, who's that dude? Are you... Torchy Cabrera. All right, Torji, so cool. Everything is going to be fine. Oh, could you come back a bit later? All right. There might be another mission for that. So, another Sorrow Elk. Oh, no. Don't run away. I'm not dishing enough damage. Okay. Might be some way of dealing more damage to them. But them running through the wilderness is really annoying. So, that's another mission for us that... We can just ignore in the future. Do not do those things. Okay. Also, look upwards because every now and then there's a floating pile of treasure. Oh, into Turkey. There we go. That's something you can snipe away really quickly. What's that? A bush? Yes. No berries, though. Yeah, nice. The only problem with, like, sniping them from afar is uh, getting into range. Because sometimes it's just not possible. And they're running still. Nah, okay, they're running away. Let's not get distracted too much. Uh, what kind of level is that? It says it's deadly. What does it say? Uh, it says it's 35, right? Uh, what about a level 50 or something? This is 45. It always has the skull icon next to it. Ah, because my level is still lower than the uh, level of those corruption spots. Once I hit like 35, maybe the icon turns into this um, sword-ish kind of icon or whatever that is. Uh, where was this? In Yeah, this one, for example, is 35 skull icon. And this one here has the corruption thing. Because it's only level 25. And you're supposed to do this easily. Therefore, the danger marker is just gone. So, uh, that was that thing. Yeah, nice that you can see it from afar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But yeah, actually, these uh, fast travel spots are so easy to see. There's no need to mark them on the map, really. <laughs> it's nice to do, though. 
makes it easy to figure them out. Like you can see... Where is that coming from? I've seen something from over there. And I do not see... Anything else. Okay, so... This doom sound, right? Was it a... Oh, another hair. Hmm. Or rabbit. This doom sound that plays... Is not just uh, connected to the corruption, I think. Oh. And heavy attack. And heavy attack. What's wrong with this wolf? Look at how they evade, like, it's really random. Sometimes they go to the side, sometimes not. Maybe they introduced a certain evade mechanic in here. So if you move a certain way, right, and try to aim uh, and shoot, then the evasion mechanic registers the movement and uh, evades in an opposite direction. Uh, but it doesn't do this all the time. Maybe there's a certain randomizer that happens. So it's very difficult to actually predict that. So... And in front of me there is the Winter Village, and then there's the other thing down there. So let's visit that village first. Oh wait, uh, let's get this earth crack. That is important. That's strange. Look at the glow. It's greenish, but it glows orange, eh? Pretty interesting mix. Right, wait. Uh, and here we have a few nuts. Yes, let's get those. They're important for crafting. And there are another few nuts. Well, let's stay outside. It's actually very easy to figure them out. Wait. There's another stack thing. No. Okay, got it. I expected it to run downwards or upwards or just somewhere. <laughs> just a little bit quicker. And the boulder is not the thing that I want to mine. I actually want to mine the Mallory stag. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Did they change the look of the Northern Knights? Could be. It looks a little bit more... A little nicer think. So, now, where are the other nuts? No, this is just a bush. This is not berries. I am looking for a few nuts. There we go. I need them to make kitchen stuff for the dyes and things. And let's get the other earth crack. There's another thing up here and another thing down there. So let's get this one here first. Uh, it should be very close by. Maybe... Ah, over there. So, there's another one over here. We're looking for a brownish kind of thing. Something that... Uh, high... Wait. Yeah, we're looking for a brownish... There we go. That's number one. And where's number two? The other set, this is just some flint. That doesn't count. There's a, there's another one right in front of me. Like, hmm. Like you're looking around, right? Looking for nuts. <laughs> I'm looking for nuts. These nuts. Hmm. But you just can't find them. It's so weird. Like they are brown, right? They basically look like the ground. Especially once it's dark, you can't see anything. And you have to basically trust your uh, little compass needle down in order to figure out where the thing is. And come on, there we go. A little bit more iron. What's that? Another rabbit. And ghosts, wait a minute. Uh, famine guys, uh, we need for those. And there's another one with nuts in it. This is it. Oh, and more iron. Yes. Hmm, what did I say about the whole gathering thing? It's not necessary, really. 
I mean, it's nice that you can do that, but the more people there are playing this game, the more items there are in the trading post. Therefore, at one point, it there is actually decent reason to not gather at all and just let other people do it and uh, kind of utilize the task division or division of labor, really. So, where is this? Where are the nuts? Hmm. Can't see the. Oh, there we go. You can't. Oh. Once they are frozen, you can't identify them at all. Alright. So. Let's see. What do we have here? Bountiful gift sack. Yes. It doesn't trigger anything. Uh, optional. Collect daily reward from Tree of Light in any settlement. Well. <laughs> It says that. But now I just get these window tokens. Maybe you get a few more than that. So, what do we got? Uh, more efforts put into Tree of Light means more presence and joy. Three stages for the Tree of Light, each better than the last. Yes, I remember that. Uh, I'm glad your words and memory are coming back. Now, yes, Tanafari, I remember the sound of bells, children, nothing. But I also remember the sound of howling wind. And every growing darkness tending the Tree of Light will push back the darkness. Darkness, dreaming corruption. No, not red-eyed ones. Yeti that use winter magics to spread the ice and snow. They wish to bring further winter. The other yetis are not like me. They steal gifts away from the humans. You must find these stolen gifts and return them to me. Ah, uh, right. Now, how many do we... Oh, just like that. These gifts make me remember. I was lost on the mountain in a terrible winter storm. A bright star led me into a cave. When I came out the other side, I was here in a turnip. Hmm. So, that's weird. Some people are getting caught up in a storm, and this one goes through a cave. Eternum is somewhat connected to every part of the world. So, I have seen these stars here. They fall from the sky. Gleaming crystals. Yes, that is what they are called. Bring some to me, and it will help me remember more. And where do I find these crystals? They fall to Eternum at night. Look to the night sky, friend. Use your hands to break the crystals free. Collect the fragments. Okay, and what are these crystals used for? Give them to the holiday huts for exchange. And Gleamai crystals are warm, radiant heat that does not burn. Their light will inspire others. All right. So, <laughs> I had three of them in my inventory. I think this is why I can just finish it. The light of these crystals conjures a name, Mergus. Well, was that my name? Yes, it must have been. It feels good to say it. What a great gift to have a name once more. Thank you. We are just finishing missions left and right right now. Uh, the Tree of Light needs tending. It means more gifts and smiles. Three stages of the Tree of Light. It's better than the last. Yes, I remember that. Good. To protect all life on Eternum from uh, a forever winter, the Yetis must be defeated. Travelers have given me the locations of three of the monsters. Okay. Uh, you don't consider them your people? Perhaps I did once, but now I know that I'm not like them. Despite my appearance, I feel more almost human. Dispatch the yetis in the caves of Everfall, Monarch's Bluff, and First Light. This must be done for the sake of Eternum as we know it. Alright, so this is something that I can't finish yet. And the yetis in these ice caves will be formidable. Take great caution when confronting them. These monsters are servants of the will of the forever winter. So. Now what about this song? I'm not yet at stage three. Wait a minute. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, five is at the end. Yeah. There is... Okay, all of these tokens don't give you any more insight on that. But thank goodness there's no cap on reputation that you have to increase somehow. Good. But I just need uh, 300 reputation in addition to that, and then everything's fine. Now, question. Where are those yetis? It's, uh, it's a blue mission, isn't it? It could be this one. Yetis about. That's the one. Uh, so it's that one. And uh, that's another one. And that's another one. Yeah. Once we're done with the fisherman's mission, it probably leads us through the whole thing. I'm going to continue. So... What about the Glee Mine? Oh, wait a minute. I just brought back two of those, and the last one I just kept. Perfect. So, now then, there is uh, an earthy thing down there in Earth Spine. So just go southeast, and we're good. 
Nice, 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 nice. Uh, there we go. All right, we are definitely going to get this uh, location. Wait, what happened? I definitely must have triggered it, right? Huh. Stray hinge. Um, yeah, that's just so weird. Like, you see these markers here, as if they are really close by. But they're five kilometers apart, which is really far. You can still walk there, though. So, uh, yeah, just forward. Need to get Phantom Hamlet. Yes. Now we do a little turn around and just go directly towards that marker. Anyone doing Winter Warrior? Um, Winter Warrior, Winter Warrior, Winter Warrior. Yeti Zip. No, Yeti Zip is not Winter Warrior. What kind of difficulty is that? 35. I could do that. I don't wanna. <laughs> uh. Ooh, what is this? Wait a minute. Don't I know that? I th That's weird. Why was there this streak going down there? It could have been one of those meteorites striking down. But they said that it only drops at night, right? Oh, wait a minute. It looks like there are no more turkeys needed, and I can finish this mission now. Nice. Uh, again. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, Mallory Wolf. Yes. Oh. Okay, so the wolf just does... Like, you can identify when they try to attack because they move their head a little sideways, see that? The problem is seeing the head of the wolf move if you stand in front of it. <laughs> That's the thing. You cannot fight against something that you cannot see, basically. Alright, so let's... Uh, may unable to build that here. Sure. Now it works. And once I die, I can just get resurrected here. And the nice thing I can do right now is just... Focus this thing down. Oh no, it's brutal and armored. The problem that I have right now is that this uh, there's a Feven guys around. That may attack me if I'm not careful. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's bullshit. Come on. Like, it's not really the corruption that's dangerous about those spines. It's just everything else. Jesus. That was so obvious. All right. Uh, thank goodness we placed the camp there. This is the thing. It's not the corruption that's dangerous. It's all of the other enemies around it. Okay, let's ignore that thing. I am not interested in fighting something that regenerates multiple times like if i kill one of them right the uh, tentacle thingy just yeah it takes a little bit of time to be defeated therefore the wolf will just respawn again because this game has a tendency to crank up the respawn rate a little bit and once done you're absolutely screwed because you have to fight creatures that are Extremely mobile, like this wolf was just charging at me, which was actually the reason why that becomes a problem. All of these other uh, corrupted swarmers around it, they're really slow, and you can outrun them, or outwalk them if you move sideways like that. It's extremely easy, no real problem there. So, oh, this one looks like a teleporter almost. Uh, yeah, let's check that one out. Let's get a little closer, and then we have another landmark discovered. What kind of- oh, 41 wolf. I could try to fight that creature now, can I? I could definitely try to. Yeah, let's... Okay. Yeah, of course the Void Gauntlet does it. 
again. Oh, look at that, Ling's guarding the place. Uh, didn't I? There we go. <laughs> I switched to Chang. Of course you did. Like being very mobile and evasive and everything is kind of a nice thing altogether. But this game gives you so many enemies you need to evade at one point that evading once brings you uh, kind of into a very troublesome spot because there's another enemy standing right next to you or maybe there's a, uh, a ranged attack that happens that you have to evade constantly because they're not attacking at the same time. Like there's one enemy attacking then there's a second enemy attacking and so on and so on and you're basically evading constantly and uh, this constant evasion is not helping uh, anyone. So, is this one... Yeah, just running anywhere, really. Let's see. And it comes back again. Was it caught? No. It can actually climb up the place. Nah. Oh, does, does it come back? No. What kind of aimbot do you need in order to... See that? It goes back and forth and back and forth. At one point, it has to... Uh, come back now, right? Uh, that's the expectation. At least. Like once you scare it off, it... And there we have it again. That's weird. Or maybe... Yeah, it just runs away. And at one point, it does not walk away anymore. Like it reaches maximum distance or whatever, and then it just disappears. Yeah, come on. Fighting those elks is just really annoying. I would be able to do that if I uh, would be able to instantly kill them, of course, with a good snipe. But there's no way of sniping with magic in this game. Would be really cool though. So, uh, another one of those corrupted things. Oh, another present, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hmm. Do I. Nope. There's the mission for the bull, so there's no need to attack them. Alright. Any, uh, there are no minerals. No, nothing. <laughs> Everything is hidden under water. Pretty neat. So. Now it's finished. Oh no. Is that bull attacking? No. Bulls are friendlies. That's good. Thank goodness there are no wolves. Okay. If they attack, or if you start attacking them, then that's a problem. But uh, the other way around is okay. So, Sheetal Agarwal. New way to savage catfish and squids? Why, this is brilliant news. Thank you for coming all this way to inform me of Park's findings. Sure, sure. Peace and good day. All right. And this concludes one more step in the Fisherman missions. Uh, wait a minute, I don't want to open that. I want to open those boxes. Oh, Pirate Gunsling, I had, that's cool. But no, it's green and Miner had luck while mining. Oh, that's good. But the stats, really, the stats. Maybe of the Trickster. Cool. Why do I want to... Was this a corruption thing that happened? You could hear a certain ring to it. I think it's the corruption. Or maybe you could consider this as a form of a uh, siren that just tells you that something is going on. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, there's a beautifully wrapped chest here. And let's open the other one with the... Ooh, ooh. Light gloss, strength, dexterity, both of them I don't need. But fishing colossus, medium boost to chance of catching larger fish. Plus 2% cast. What's the cast distance really good for? We can go further. 
but it doesn't matter, does it? Mm, yeah, I should try to sell that. That might be a really decent profit. Oh, by the way, profit. <laughs> Look at that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I sold um, a few bags for an additional profit of, I think, uh, 500 or so, minimum. And uh, that definitely increased it. It's not just the missions, eh? and definitely some other items got sold as well, so... Yeah, we are playing the trading post game, basically. <laughs> Alright, so, as I said, let's end this episode and continue with another step of the Fisherman's Mission in the next one. Until then, like and subscribe, of course. Ta-ta!